Adults are all up just like that, and there they go and listen to them. Oof, no, it's going to be tricky. I'm just going to stay stationary so you can enjoy one last visual of this massive pack of wild dogs heading off into the thicket. Oh, hyena. Hyena are in here. The pups have all run, and I'm wondering if one of the adults has made a killing here. But I can hear hyenas squealing. It could be that the wild dogs have got a hold of this hyena. Yeah, they've got a hold of it. They've got it. It doesn't know what to do. There's two hyena, I think. Look at that pile of puppies, all settled down after the excitement of the hyena encounter, after all of the drama of the morning. Oh, got a bit of a fright. Welcome back everyone, and these little pups are overtaking us at a rate of knots here from both sides of the vehicle trying to keep up with their parents. I just shot ahead of them in the hope that I could stay with the parents. Look at this. This is incredible. And so it's all the pups now that we're following at the back, heading straight east towards the rising sun. You'll notice that beautiful bright orange glow ahead of us. And aren't they just the most exciting animals to follow? Non-stop action. Posture. And elephants will act the same way to humans when they're un uncomfortable. While the youngsters having a go to the left. I wonder when last these elephants saw a pack of wild dogs. Probably using our vehicle as a little barricade, I guess, to prevent the elephants from seeing them. But they won't be concerned for the elephants. They'll know that they are far quicker than elephants. And, and in Incredible morning it's been. They've had enough now, they've decided to team up and come and And the wild dog certainly didn't hang around. And as you can see, they've all disappeared. There you go, the dog's scattering off in the distance. Nothing that gets your adrenaline pumping like following behind wild dogs. It's incredible. If you'd like to know how much of this carcass will they feed on? And usually they only eat the fine cuts, but because there are so many mouths to feed, they may lick this carcass a little bit cleaner than normal, but they won't feed on the bones. There'll be a lot of carcass left here for hyena. Oh, here's a good example of how they pull and rip. <laughs> 